i believe the spirit of secularism is important than the word one can call it secularism or use any other word in any language but the essence of it all is peaceful coexistence arguments over the non presence of the words secular and socialist in the preamble of the constitution and their addition to it later do not make any sense because india as a nation has always been secular in its outlook if we take the past 1200 years history of india the country has always been secular there was peaceful coexistence between all communities until the british came here there was never a riot before 1857 as far as i know even the fights between akbar and maharana pratap or those between shivaji and aurangzeb were for power they were never religious wars there was never an assertion of the supremacy of religion whenever there were wars between shivaji and aurangzeb there were both hindu and muslim soldiers on both sides in the 1936 meeting of muslim league in lucknow a resolution was passed which stated that we voluntarily will not eat beef and will not sacrifice cow with due regard to the sentiments of the majority community such was the spirit of harmony that existed in this country now if the word secular is removed from the preamble or if it is written 10 times in it too it will not matter because secularism exists in the spirit of this nation that to india's idea of secularism is the best as it is an all inclusive one unlike some countries like france where secularism means being anti religion india's secularism means respect for all religions there of course are some fringe elements on all sides that are trying to vitiate the atmosphere but the majority of the people do not fall in their trap for example in ahmedabad in gujarat as soon as there were riots in the past some people used to distribute pamphlets saying hindu women should not shop in dalgarwad a market where almost all shops are owned by muslims and 99% of their clientele hindus temporarily once hate is engineered and spread among the people it affected the business but once things got normalized it was business as usual even in gujarat a tinder box of riots i have never seen hatred and suspicion between communities they temporarily exist but would never 
last long so my concern is not as to whether the word secular exists or not in the preamble of the indian constitution but i will be horrified if this spirit of secularism starts to evaporate from the society i have traveled to the interiors of bihar and up where i met absolutely poor and illiterate people who had never heard the terms secularism or dharma nirpekshata but i saw an all pervading spirit of secularism among them as they helped each other in life regardless of their religious beliefs in gujarat there are villages which do not have mosques there hindus open their house or temple doors for members of tablighi jamaat so that they can reside there until they start moving again intolerance is visible on televised debates but in real life or in the society at large people in this country respect each other's faith secularism is enshrined in the dna of this nation's social life and it cannot be erased by any means